Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I will be covering what was covered in the Vitter Dev Streams number 62. In today's dev stream, we were joined by Voltec and Vladimir Hynek, as well as community manager for Cythia. The main focus of this dev stream was the new season, however, since I have already made a couple videos on the new season, I won't be covering what new information the devs revealed with this stream. So let's get right into it. First things first, Forsythia stated in the dev stream that uh, they apparently buffed the EWIM crates with this update, along with the changes to EWIM's loot structure. While I personally haven't seen this change, I would be curious what form this buff took. Following that, they raised a question of what feminine cosmetics people would like to see as a response to the male cosmetics of a beard that had arrived in this season's battle pack. Next up, Forsythia and Hynek talked about that in Season 12, there was a large reshuffling and rebalance of loot distribution across most maps, with the goal of balancing loot throughout the entire map more evenly on all maps. Following that, Votex showed off a trick that he uses to help limit damage of radiation nades, showing that if you wait a few seconds for the rads to tick up a bit, then use iodine, you can mitigate the majority of the damage that the rad nades will cause. Chat then tried to argue back that iodine isn't effective against the grenades, despite the display they just watched of them being quite effective. Forsythia then said something that echoes my own opinions, that too many players have based their opinions on the radiation nades on fears formed by partner coverage, and that we must wait a few weeks before people can really develop opinions on them, as people are developing opinions despite seeing evidence of the contrary and also seeing in encounters them not really being used that much. However, for those of you that are still skeptical, they did state that they are working on a buff to protection from radiation, a consumable, in the near future. This was a vaguely worded answer, but I'm guessing this means an iodine buff coming next update, which is pretty cool. Again, chat inquired about knife changes. They do this every stream, but it's been a while since I've talked about it. They give a quick statement said by a dev in a much earlier stream. Even if they were to fix the knives, they are knives and will always hold an innate weakness to actual firearms, so firearms are more important to buff and balance than the large amount of almost pointless work that it would take to fix the knives. So, in Legacy Seasons, if you receive an item that you have already obtained through other means, you will receive an item of equal value. On this dev stream, um, Hynek talked about a new feature that came with this season regarding that that will actually show you with a UI update what you will actually be getting um, for that reshuffle. Next up, Forsythia stated that Legacy Seasons will no longer be affected by XP boosts from the live battle pass. The reason for this was explained by Hynek as he stated that players with max XP boosts from the primary season would be able to burn through the Legacy Seasons rapidly which kind of wastes the entire point of the YGC seasons, which are to be a permanent soft grind to work on in the background. A little bit later, Votek stated that the kill three outlanders with a knife challenge is going to be removed from the rotation soon. Again, something I would assume to be with the July update or whatever the next update in the game is. Finally, to close off the stream, for C3 to confirm that there is no work being done at this point on Vigor 2. That's all I've got for you guys today. It was an interesting little dev stream that was decently informative, but. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.